Welcome back to the Clown Show. It is finally, um, well, I shouldn't say finally. I should say it's week four at Belle Isle. Belle Isle is one of those tracks uh, in Detroit. It is a street circuit. It is um, difficult. It is bumpy. Um, and it really uh, brings out the best and the worst in race car drivers. Um, I love this track, not so much because I really enjoy driving it. I, I love this track because of how much other drivers hate it. And I know that that sounds just really sick, but it is true, is that people tend to uh, lose their cool in a challenging situation, and uh, you can capitalize if you keep your head and wind up you know, driving a good race. So I like this track for that reason, is it, it's an equalizer. Um, tonight is interesting is that we actually have a 30 minute round of open qualification which means all the cars will be on track with one another trying to qualify. That presents an interesting challenge because if somebody's out there slow and holding up traffic uh, some people may not get their best lap um, or may be on a real tear and someone has a spin out in front of them and, and causes them to, to lose out on that, that top qualifying lap. So there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong in qualifying for tonight. But then the added twist is that it's two 20 minute heats. So how this works is um, you qualify for the first heat and then your finish in the first heat determines where you start in the second heat. So Good performance in the first heat definitely helps you with your start in the second, but does not necessarily mean that you're going to do well in the second. And the reason why that's important is the performance and points, all that stuff is averaged across the two races. And so if you have a bad performance in either race, it can bring you down, but also if you have a bad performance in either race and you do well in the other one, it can bring you up. So there's an opportunity here for people to uh, kind of get out, get out of jail free card, so to speak, on a second race. So it should be fun, and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get to the race. Alrighty, so qualified P4 um, was not my finest qualifying because as uh, qualifying started, it was 105 degrees on the track. I had to come into pits to take care of something. Um, and by the time I came back out, the track temp was back up to a 108. It got up to a max of 109 during qualifying. So Rodney, I blame you. Heat of the day, this was mean, man. Um, but here I sit, fourth, um, we'll see how we do. Got some new cool stuff. Uh, Race Lab Apps just launched a new track map feature. Um, so let me know what you think of it. Um, I've got some The options. air temp is 77 Fahrenheit, 100 laps. I've got some options here um, in terms of uh, the colors and outline colors and the sizes and all that kind of stuff. But uh, let me know what you think of the comments. Stay behind the pace car in the right lane. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. Okay, Chip, let's get this right. No fuck ups. Go. a little early first lap.
for. Right, Chip, just keep hitting your marks. This is looking good. E3. The gap behind is now 2.4. Sector 1 is 0.6, off the pace. Yeah, David is fast. Temperature's up at a 109 again. Restarted at 106. It means that the track the is in front is now 2.4. Hmm. And I can't seem to break out of the 131s with the track inside. It's above 105, I can't get the speed.
Sector 2 is two tenths off the pace. Your lap time was 131.73. to see a new face in here, but man, I wish he hadn't got his video fixed. The gap in front is now 2.3. Just kidding. He is really fast, though. That was a slow lap. That lap was a 132.24. Okay, Chip, that's good consistency. Keep it up. are not my friends at this point. The 
that lap was a 132.44. I think the thing that really bugs me more than anything else is I don't have it in the tires to even go up to the fastest lap. This track was five degrees cooler. Five degrees cooler, I'd be in the 29s. Kid you not. So I think when it gets this hot, I think I must be just scrubbing a crap load of speed off my lap. is now 3.4 seconds. I know because he's faster than me. David is freaking checked the hell out. That's impressive. On this track and this heat, that's that's a driver for you. Sector 1 is 0.6, off the pace. Time was at 132.08. Chip, you're gaining on this car. The gap is 2.1 seconds. <laughs> that last lap was at 131.43. Thank <laughs> you. 
is now 2.2. Actually felt like a decent exit there. Okay, Jip, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. What do you think? You think I can catch David? It's only 11 seconds up the road. for noise in the background. Sounds like the girls just got home. They were out looking at a horse, I think. Two has got off in turn one. We're on the podium. Good drive. Okay, race number two. Guys, I might have to leave in the middle of this because I got a dinner, but we'll see if I make it. Good luck getting to your dinner, man. <laughs> Let me see. Come on. P3, 100 laps. Good luck, everybody. We need to follow car number 72 in the right column. Go, go. Close. Oh no, I got it. Shit. 
Why did he slow down so much? Damn it! Hopefully I didn't damage my splitter. Is already out of David's draft. Okay, Chip, this bastard's holding you up. You've got to find a way past. On this track, the best way past is through, unfortunately. And I already tried that, it didn't work out so well. I got 4X!
bad exit. Almost fun. You're a tenth off the pace in sector two. Hundred and ten degrees the track is right now. Ahead is now 1.6.
flip that curve a little. Bad lap. The gap in front is now 2.4. Tenth off the pace in sector one. Tenth off the pace in sector three. Ahead is now 1.3. Looks like David slowed down a little bit too. He had five seconds on us a moment ago. Sector 3 is 0.49 off the pace. like a dog chasing cars. So if I catch him, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I can't pass him here. I guess I could hit Federico again, but that wouldn't do anything. Good. Should get the white flag this time by. Last lap, looking good for a podium.
Sorry about that, Jeff. No worries, I just got through. Done, Chip. Great drive. That's a podium. So, Belle Isle. All I said it was, right? Bumpy, hot, crazy, tight walls. Decent racing. It was a really clean race overall. Um, first race, I started fourth, um, wound up uh, finishing third only because Volker had an issue. I don't think that if he had held his race together that I would have been able to get by him. Um, this trek is so tight, very difficult to pass on. Which brings me to race two, the, the second heat. Um, I really thought that I could give David a run for his money if I could have gotten up in his draft and uh, just harassed him for a while. Um, unfortunately, um, Federico, at least in the early laps, just could not keep pace and I couldn't get around him. He actually, he braked at a really weird spot, um, and uh, I got up on his bumper pretty hard. Now, what, what's funny is I got a 4X for car contact, and no mark on either car, no car noise, no indication that I touched. In fact, uh, I've been alongside cars in a corner and hit harder than I even imagined the bare glimpse of a maybe touch that we did um, uh, in that corner and uh, got a 4X for it. So I feel ripped off because that was a bonus point um, in the series. You get uh, bonus points for zero incidences, uh, fast lap in the race and pole position. Um, I was not gonna touch David for, as far as fast lap was concerned. So I thought I had it, you know, won as far as incident, uh, incident free races. And because of iRacing declaring that a 4X for whatever reason, um, I, I, I lost out on some points there, which kind of makes me angry, but you know, what are you going to do? It's only half a point essentially, um, at the end of the day. So, um, that's the results of the race. Um, a lot of people drove really clean races, although it's kind of funny is that you can hit the wall pretty much anywhere on this track and get a zero X. It'll damage the car. Um, but you, you'll get no, no contact points for it. Um, there are, I think, three places on track that you can go over grass and actually get an off track. Um, so you have to work really hard to get uh, incident points at this track. Most of them are going to come either through contact or by going over one of those small pieces of grass by overcooking a turn. So um, good race. Uh, I, I, I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, as far as where that lands me in the sports series, still in second place, um, more firmly so, I think, um, in, in terms of, you know, overall points um, behind David by uh, seven points, which really, that's not good. Um, but seven points is not the end of the world. If he has a bad race or um, winds up um, having a drop, uh, something lower than his 58 there um, could come into play. Um, but he is fast. Um, and, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry too much about catching him at this point because, uh, um, second still, still pretty good. Um, I just need to make sure I, I hold, uh, Keith back, um, and Volker back because they're both back here, uh, within relatively close range. Um, and, uh, we'll, we'll see how the, the course of the race series continues to go. Um, Volker is fast. Um, Volker out qualified me, although I didn't qualify well. Um, but he, he does have a tendency to show up and be really fast. So it's, it's going to be his time. One of these nights, I, I can, I can tell you that, um, where he's going to get a, get the upper hand and, and going to, uh, wind up finishing, um, well ahead of me in a race where I don't completely chalk, which is <laughs> what I did at, uh, Zandvoort. Um, but that's the race. Um, I'm not going to go through the other uh, classes um, just because I'm not sure that everybody's interested in that. If you want me to go through all the other classes and give the results um, in this video moving forward, just comment, say, hey, you like that part of the video, and I will do that moving forward. But otherwise, I'll just call it good with what I'm doing and where I am because it's self-centered that way, and I like it.
Thank you for joining. If you like the video, please click like. If you are not already a subscriber and you want to be notified of future videos, please click on subscribe. Thanks a lot and uh, take care. Spaß macht Rennsport.